we started putting videos up on YouTube to help the DIY. Then there were a lot of questions. A lot of people wanted our comments open and they wanted to chat. The questions got more and more advanced and eventually we found our DIYers caught in the French drain man spin cycle. So we're gonna go right back to the basics and in this video, I'm gonna show you the 101 to installing driveway cover pipe. Welcome to the French drain man channel and back to the basics. We're gonna do how to bury dual wall culvert pipe 101. So I just got done slicking this new driveway that I put in. I'm gonna let the sun bake it. All right, so this is a piece of the Boffman dual wall, 24 inch in diameter, 20 foot in length culvert pipe. If you don't have a lift like I show you here, you have to pack these in stone. If you're only going to, say, put one foot, and that's all you have room for, the elevations you're working with is one foot over top of this, you want to first, in your ditch or swale, you need to dig it out because this pipe has to be set in the ground. Now, if you're worried about the size swale or ditch you have, and when the pipe is set low to where you can move its full capability of water if you're worried that okay that don't look right if I set it low well then you need to go up in size so instead of using an 18 inch culvert pipe here I used a 24 and you know I sized it for for what's going on here but if you don't have this kind of elevation you're not bridging this kind of gap once you get this pipe recessed you know you get it set in the ground partially you know a third of the way is usually what I try to do you want to pack stone on both sides of it pack stone really well and if you only got a foot over top of it that's going to give it the strength all that stone packed around it is gonna you know keep this pipes integrity so that's the right way to install a culvert pipe now I didn't use the stone because if you're going to go two feet or more of soil, you don't need to pack it in stone. That's this is this is how simple it is. We don't need to make things too complicated here, and we try not to. So that's how to put a culvert in 101. I hope it helped you guys out. If you have any questions, comments are open. Thank you. All right, I'm installing the Boffman 18 inch dual wall heavy duty culvert pipe. So I wanna make sure you guys get it right. I want everybody out there to be successful at their DIY projects. You don't have to be a pro. I know they wanna tell you this is advanced. This isn't that advanced. So, okay, make sure you get a really long level. And you want to make sure that the bubble is not level. That's level. You want the bubble to be upstream. So this is a man-made recreational lake. And this is pretty much a stream in the spring and the fall. It's always moving water a little bit. So I dug down, I got this in, I got this in probably a third of the way. This is, I just eyeball it, but I've been, I've set many. Okay, so the reason why you want the bubble upstream, because if it's level, it's not gonna flow water very well. And I'll tell you what, if it's bubbling downstream, if you got the bubble downstream, what happens, what happens when these are improperly installed? So right now we got a nice, you've seen the bubble riding high upstream. If that was installed incorrectly and we were like this, so we were bubbling downstream, sediment and dirt would fill this end of the culvert pipe. And you're eventually gonna have all kinds of maintenance. You're gonna have a culvert that no longer works. You're gonna be frustrated. You're gonna be blaming everything besides 
the guy who should be blamed, and that's the guy who put it in the ground. Okay, so this one showed you it's bubbling upstream. I'm going to start burying this. This is light vehicle traffic and mostly foot traffic for just kayaking on this man-made lake. So, you know, this doesn't have to get that serious as far as packing it in stone and all that. But just thought I'd share this with you. In closing on driveway culverts, I just want to say that I bought this property off of a good friend of mine. He put in a galvanized pipe. It wasn't in that long, and I had to dig it up because it collapsed, rusted through. I put in another galvanized pipe. Well, I'll tell you what. In the last 25 years, that's, that's just not even acceptable that there's been two pipes replaced. So this is the, the last pipe right here. This is a 12-inch dual wall, the heavy-duty sidewall that Boffman Tile's known for. And this material is rated to last 200 to 500 years. So here's the good news. I don't have to do another culvert in this drive. Now you can see how shallow it is though. So we packed it in stone. This, uh, this one was packed in stone. The boys did a really good job. And you know, we drive over this all the time with semi trucks. Um, it's actually two 20 footers put together so that we could have a wide apron here. But yeah, in closing, that's, you know, my experience, uh, you know, lifelong experience here. It, it doesn't come from a book. It comes from what I've lived, what I've seen, and what I've done. And uh, I love hearing from everybody, your questions, your comments. Please share. And, yeah, let's, let's do it right the first time. One and done. That's doing it right. All right, guys. Until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time. We're going to keep it simple. You DIYers, stay tuned for more high octane.